Have you ever considered your life? Your life is a wonderful gift. I work as an oncologist. I see people and treat them when they are afflicted by cancer. And I see many people at the end of their life. And they fight to live. But no one can live forever. And that's why these people are my heroes. But today, I want to talk about two special kinds of heroes. Superheroes and everyday heroes. I spoke to a man in the last weeks of his life. He was not desperately unwell, but by the nature of his cancer, he was dying, and he knew it. We discussed, as normal, death and life, and in our conversations, he mentioned, I have nothing left to live for. Nothing gave him pleasure anymore. Those daily activities of reading a book or watching television or interacting with people were no longer important to him. It may have been reasonable to assume that the man had depression, that black dog that stalks many of us from time to time. But he was not depressed. His life was ending and it was running on empty. He had nothing more to give. It is often only in the dim light of advanced illness, when death casts its shadow, that we see life for what it really is. It is more than biological processes working in perfect harmony. It is more than assets and liabilities on the balance sheet of our life. Life has to have meaning. Because without meaning, we only exist. Most people define meaning by what they do. They forget to include who they are. And it is the fine balance between both these ingredients that determines our ultimate value in life. We live in a world where we are taught to define meaning by what we do. We compare. I'm fat, you're thin. We evaluate. She is pretty and she is ugly. And we compete. We strive to be the fastest or the smartest or the wealthiest. We desire to be sexy and talented. And based on the what we do principle, we hope to introduce ourselves as doctors or lawyers or professors. We press in to be with those who are successful. And we offer them celebrity status. These are our superheroes. But another way to define life is by who we are. And for that, we need to look at our lives through the eyes of a child. Children see everyday people. They are not impressed by grand titles or, or great accomplishments. They don't care if their grandmother is chairman of the board. What they want are those warm cuddles, her gentle touch, and of course, that fresh apple pie. They don't care if their grandfather was a sporting celebrity. They want those great bear hugs and to spend time building those unflyable kites. These are their heroes, their everyday heroes. Children have no great demands. They respond to love and affection more than to success and achievement. They don't need superheroes when they can have everyday heroes. Everyday heroes are ordinary people like you 
and like me, who go about their normal tasks with the purpose of making a difference. Whether they are cooking or cleaning or baling hay or running the country, they are concerned about the welfare of others. Their value is determined not only by what they do, but also by who they are. And we all remember these everyday heroes. They made a difference in our life. They walked that extra mile. They held our hand when our feet were unsteady. They were able to smile when all we could do was frown. They believed in us when we could not believe in ourselves. They are parents and grandparents, teachers and friends, and sometimes those perfect strangers who make our world better. And I am convinced that everyday heroes are agents of love. Because love is selfless. It considers the greater good. It is patient. It is prepared to wait rather than force its way forwards. It protects. It does not discriminate against the weak. And love demands no payment. It is a gift that can always be given right up to the point of death. Have you experienced love like this? I have. It was given to me by a person in her last few weeks of life. I don't remember her name, but I remember her clearly. She was suffering in her body, and she was waiting for that liberation from suffering that death brings. And in her hopeless medical condition, she demonstrated love. She cared for me more than I could care for her as a doctor. A twinkle of happiness in her eyes. My welfare was more important to her than her welfare. And in the end, at the end of her life, she was able to give because she was grounded in love. And I believe this is how we can have a meaningful life. The secret is like a grain of wheat. It can only be fruitful if it dies to its own interest and releases its seed for an abundant harvest. And on reflection, this is my hope for all of us, that our life can be a gift that we can give of ourselves, that we can be judged through the eyes of a child. Aren't they enthusiastic when they open that package? And that the package may contain love. And then I know that regardless of where you may live and regardless of what your circumstances may be, whether you're starting this journey in life, or whether you are in the last mile, whether you are great, or whether you are small, that this is your legacy, that you can be an everyday hero.